After a campaign that focused a lot of attention on crime and homelessness, the first issue Woodward brought up was something else entirely. We are on our way to finishing the redevelopment of Riverfront Park, continuing to build opportunities for recreation throughout our gorgeous city. Improving parks is a goal that, politically speaking, shouldn't be too difficult. It was a big focus of the past mayor. The revamping of Riverfront Park remains one of David Condon's most visible accomplishments. And Woodward is keeping on a lot of Condon's key staff. The revamp still has several more phases already in the works. The current council has repeatedly shown an interest in funding parks, and many of its members are staying on in 2020. So, park investment should be a highly achievable goal. Make our neighborhoods and our downtown core safer and comfortable for everyone. Woodward then transitioned to the messaging that was core to her campaign, public safety. Crime in Spokane has actually gone down quite a bit this year. 16% citywide, 13% downtown, according to the latest CompStat report. But you heard there Woodward also saying she wants people to feel more comfortable in the city. And that's where the precinct comes in. We will also bring the downtown precinct back into the core. We need to give our law enforcement the right tools to do their job effectively, and it starts with more officers on patrol. A more visible precinct and taking officers out of cars and putting them on foot patrol are ideas Woodward has been working on throughout the transition. Multiple council members have also backed the proposal since before the campaign. That goal seems likely to be achievable very soon. It's also worth noting that more officers on foot doesn't necessarily mean new officers hired. It would likely be more a change in assignment than new personnel. And there are some concerns that if police are on foot, it'll be harder to quickly respond to calls. My administration will focus on providing our most vulnerable a path to self-sufficiency. Homelessness is still the number one issue to many people, and it's likely to be one of the more challenging ones for the Woodward administration. A lot of homelessness policy over the past few years has been mired in political gridlock. The mayor and the council each blaming the other for failure to arrive at permanent solutions. Recently, a push for a 24-7 shelter on East Sprague killed in its tracks. That combative dynamic could change, though, given the so far highly collaborative relationship between the new mayor and the new council president, Brianne Beggs. But it's still probably the single issue on which Woodward has the most significant ideological differences from the majority of the council. Casey Decker, Creme 2 News.